Mm-hmm. Hello, everybody. Uh, this is Brother Luke, Sin City Preacher. It's uh, 5 p.m. in Las Vegas, December 24th. So this is Christmas Eve. So I want to wish everybody a Merry Christmas. If you're watching this right now and you have put your faith completely in Jesus Christ for your salvation, then you're what I call a Christian. And today is the day that the world as a whole celebrates the birth of Jesus Christ. It's become a tradition that uh, when you wake up on Christmas morning under a tree, you have a bunch of presents. Well, I want to tell you what uh, uh, I would like under my tree when I get up tomorrow morning. What I would like to find is these gifts because of this, this celebration of the birth of Christ. So this is uh, all I want for Christmas. First, I would love to have unity in the body of Christ. Now, when I say the body of Christ, it's important that we define what that is. Uh, The body of Christ is simply uh, the total collection of all believers in Jesus Christ. Everyone who has ever put their faith completely in Jesus Christ for salvation um, is part of this body of Christ, also called the church. Well, of all these true Christians who no longer believe in religion for salvation, they no longer believe in personal performance to work their way to heaven and instead they have believed on Jesus for their salvation. If everybody that agrees with that basic doctrine of Christianity, then uh, I I pray that uh, we can have unity. I, I've made a lot of videos uh, where I've emphasized that there are certain core doctrines that I think are essential for not only um, being part of uh, Christianity, but uh, for having fellowship. So I, I would like for everybody to unify around these basic core doctrines. Can we agree that Jesus Christ is eternal God Almighty? Eternal God Almighty. That means that he is not a created being, as the uh, Jehovah Witnesses would, would say, that he, he's Michael the Archangel. He was created by God. Um, no, Jesus is not a creature. He is eternal God Almighty. He has always existed and always will exist. And he is the God Almighty of the Bible. I hold to the Trinitarian viewpoint of the Godhead. But what I'm asking you to agree to is simply that Jesus is eternal God Almighty who loved the world so much he became a man so he could die for our sins. So that's the first thing I'd like to ask us to unify upon. And that is that Jesus is this eternal God Almighty. And then this the second point that... I pray that we can agree upon is that uh, salvation, eternal life in the kingdom of God uh, is not something that man can earn by personal performance, by following commandments, repenting of sins, doing good works. Uh, It can only be attained uh, by putting their faith completely in Jesus Christ, in the fact that he is God Savior. He is the one that paid for our sins. He raised himself from the dead to prove that he is God, and he has the power of life and death. So, can we agree that salvation is a free gift God offers everyone? And in order to 
receive that gift, oh, the only thing required is complete faith in Jesus for salvation. And then finally, I pray that we can unify upon, around this doctrine of eternal security. And it just simply means that once we receive the gift of eternal life, that it truly is eternal life. It can never be lost. Uh, once you're saved, you're always saved. You can never lose your salvation for any reason. You cannot lose your salvation based upon any bad things you do. You cannot lose your salvation because you did not do enough good things. You cannot lose your salvation even if you lose your faith. Because the scripture says, even when we are unfaithful, Jesus remains faithful to us. So, uh, I'm asking you to, let's unify around these core doctrines of Christianity. Jesus is eternal God Almighty. Salvation is a free gift, not by works, but simply through faith alone in Christ alone. And we can never lose our salvation once we've put our faith in Jesus. Now, the other thing I pray that I receive tomorrow is this Christmas present is tolerance. I'm, I've been very troubled for several years. Um, and it, it just, it seems to be getting even worse. Uh, to, to find a Christian, one who agrees with these core doctrines, and yet is willing to tolerate varying opinions on other doctrines, like which Bible translation we should use, like when will the rapture happen, uh, like uh, so many other things that we could discuss theologically that are not part of what I call these core essential doctrines. Uh, there's probably dozens, maybe a, a hundred different theological subjects that are fascinating to discuss and important to study. But sadly, I, I find that most Christians, even those people who are correct on the core doctrines, they don't have tolerance for other opinions on these these other what we will I will classify as minor doctrines. The Bible says that we're saved by grace through faith. Uh, God is gracious to us. God is is uh, giving us something wonderful that we don't deserve, just because He is so kind and loving and gracious. And that's an example for us. I pray that all of you Christians watching this now, that I pray that we can be gracious to each other. Christ is gracious to us. Can't we be gracious to each other and tolerate varying opinions on all the minor doctrines? I pray that... Uh, when I get up tomorrow morning and for Christmas morning that this new day brings another wonderful Christmas present. That's peace. There's, there's so much strife, division. And uh, some of the division is, is, is over all of these uh, things I've discussed already. Core doctrines and, and uh, minor doctrines and I, I pray that uh, we can unite around the core doctrines. We can tolerate varying opinions on the minor doctrines. We can have peace among each other. We can learn to discuss these subjects and still have courtesy and respect for each other. Uh, over the years, I've seen so many people come and go not only into my circle of friends, 
but just all over YouTube, people getting upset and uh, dividing and uh, over sometimes it's these doctrines sometimes it's it's not even a doctrine I mean I know people who have disassociated themselves from me not because they even disagree with the the doctrine it's not a theological problem with with me but just simply the fact that I am subscribed to someone else that they don't like this is how petty sometimes this this can become uh, that uh, uh, there's there's no tolerance and then that means there's no peace and there's division so I pray for peace in the body and finally I pray that uh, anybody watching this now who has been offended by me, who I have uh, somehow mistreated you, or at least you perceive that I've mistreated you, Whether, whether I have mistreated you or not, uh, I pray for forgiveness. If I, if I wronged anybody, um, if I've been disrespectful to anybody, if I've been unkind to anybody, if I've been unfair, and because of that, if you have uh, gone your, your separate ways because of that. I ask for your forgiveness. And I pray that we will, can all forgive each other for these sometimes real and sometimes perceived wrongs. So, that's uh, all I want for Christmas. Unity, tolerance, peace, and forgiveness. So I, I hope uh, I hope you get what you want for Christmas. Uh, I know the world takes this one day, December twenty fifth, to try to think about Jesus and and remember his birth. Uh, but uh, I know many of you watching this now are are like me that uh, we don't really put one day above another. We we celebrate Jesus Christ every day. But I'm thankful at least that the world as a whole has got one day where more people are actually thinking about Jesus. So tomorrow is a new day. It's Christmas Day. And that's what I want for Christmas. I hope you get what you want too. Bless you all. And please rest in the love and grace of our great Savior God, Jesus Christ.